Welcome back everyone in this tutorial where we create a network game for Steam using Unity. In this video we are going to continue our journey and we will create a scoreboard for our players that contain the name of each one and their score. Let's first show the canvas that we will be using. So if we drop this here and we go here we can say that this is the canvas that we will be using. It contains a name and a score. If we open it and we try to drop a player score inside of the scoreboard it will show a player with the name and the score if we try to drop another one it will also show another player another player and this way we will add one of those to each player that joins the game and we will edit those every time they change let's start by creating the network variables that we will be tracking for the player so let's first of all player data and let's write it like this Inside of the script, we will only declare two network variables for the name and the score. Let's start by using unity.net code as usual. And then here, network behavior, network variable. And the score is going to be of type integer. New network variable. And the next one is a network variable. And here, the name should be of type string. However, the network variable doesn't accept the string value type. So instead of string, we get the using unity.collections. And inside of this, there is something called fixed string. And you can pick any one of them you want. Let's pick the 128 bytes. And let's call it name, which is equal to a new network variable. We will only use this script to hold those two values. The next one is I will create a script that will show whenever this player spawns for other game components so they know that this player spawned. So let's create a network player script. Inside of this script we will create something called observer pattern that will be very useful for the UI. The UI will know that this player spawned without having a reference for it. So using unity.net code as usual and here network behavior here we will declare two static events they will be called when the player spawns and despawns so public static event action and the action will be from system and this will take a game object and let's call it on player spawn and the other event will be the on network despawn so public static event action and it will take a game object and on player despawn here we will invoke those two actions on the on network spawn and on network despawn so let's say public override void on network spawn and here on player spawn dot invoke we will give it this dot game object and also the on network despawn so public override void on network despawn and on player despawn question mark dot invoke and we give it that this dot game object and this way every time the player spawns we can access it from the canvas now let's go to the canvas in game canvas script inside of this script we are going to spawn a player score of this one inside of this for each player that joins the game let's do that let's first get a reference for our scoreboard so let's call it score game object scoreboard and let's make it transform instead transform and next which is a serialized field which will be a game object and player score template for example and let's first subscribe to the events that we created earlier so on the enable and on the disable as well so network player dot on player spawn plus equal on player spawn for example spawn and let's unsubscribe on the on disable 
let's generate this method we will create the UI for each player so we can say game object player UI for example I don't know what to call it which is equal to instantiate and we take the player score template and also we give it the scoreboard as the parent so it goes inside of the canvas we need this player UI to track that player status the name and the score so before we continue let's go to the player score and add a script and call it player score for example and here we will get the reference for the name and the score so we update them whenever the value changes so serialized field using text mesh pro and here text mesh pro ugui name ui and also serialized field for the score ui text mesh pro ugui score ui let's create a public method and call it track player so public void track player and this will take a game object player which is the player that we wanna track and then player dot get component player data dot name and if we go to the player data we should make those two variables public so we can access them from outside and here let's say dot name dot on value change plus equal on name changed and the other one is player dot kit component for the player data dot score dot on value change plus equal on value changed implement those methods and inside of here we will and here we will update those values to the new values so name ui here instead it should be score score so here score ui dot text which is equal to the new value dot to string and here as well so name ui dot text which is equal to the new value dot to string one more thing i want to do which is i need to initialize those values because at the beginning those values has a default value and those didn't update yet so we need to give those the initial values of the name and score so we can just call those two methods quickly so on score change and the first one doesn't matter we can just give it a zero and we need the value to be the score dot value dot value and we also need to call this one so on name change and we first give it an empty string doesn't matter and the second one should be the name dot value dot value and this should work let's go here now and let's call the player ui that we instantiated here and dot get component for the player score dot track player and we give it the player that we want to track let's go to the in-game canvas first and let's drop the scoreboard here and the player score here and also let's go to here drop the name in, in the name ui and the score in the score ui let's go to the gameplay scene and let's drop an in-game canvas inside of it let's go back to the setup scene and let's start the game if we start the host and we enter the game we can see that the score shows and the score is zero we didn't give it any name let's add a button to toggle this ui to show it or not to show it let's make the tab and let's give the name the initial value as well the score in the canvas we create a script called toggle canvas let's first get a reference for the key that we want so we, we can say key code for the key that we need to toggle 
and in the update we check if this key is press if input dot dot get key down for the key then toggle ui and this is just a normal method let's also get the canvas And the canvas is equal to the get component of the canvas. We just need to toggle the enabled of this component. So canvas dot enabled, which is equal to not canvas dot enabled. Now, where do we get the name from? We can add an input field to insert the name, but in my situation, I will read the name from Steam itself. So let's do that. If we go to the player data here. I will first implement the on network spawn method here so public override void on network spawn and I will send a client RPC to the client who is owning this game object and I will tell him okay give me your name and after I will receive it and set it to this name so let's do that so if we are not the server then we return and first let's set the score to zero so score dot value which is equal to zero and also we need to set the name we can first call a client rpc and we can do that by get name client rpc we do this and here we say a client rpc get name client rpc it is going to be public void and client rbc params client rbc params which is equal to default here it's going to be like this so new client rbc params and here we will have a send which is equal to a new client rbc send params and we write the target client IDs which is equal to a new U long array of U long and we give it here the values that we want to send it to the player and in this situation only the owner of this game object so get component for the network object dot owner client ID and this will send this client IPC to only the, the owner of this game object inside of here we will call the get a name server rpc that is going to be a server rpc and get get name server rpc again public void and here what we will return is a string which is the name of this player which is going to be steam client let's first use steamworks using steamworks and here steam client dot name and here let's take a string name and we need to set this value inside of here so we say name this dot name dot dot value equal to the name and that's actually it this should get this name and the score Let's give it a quick try and we enter the game. Our name is Qbat and the score is zero. And we forgot to do one thing, which is the toggling here. Let's set it to tab and let's see. And here we go. We can toggle this UI. One thing left, which is increasing the score whenever you hit someone with your bullet. Let's go to the player script. And in this method where we decrease the health for whoever got hit it, now we need to also increase the score of the owner of this collider by a hundred for example so we get first the collider dot get component for the network object dot owner client id so this is the id of the person who is owning this game object now we need to get his player object so we say network manager dot singleton dot connected clients and we do this and here we got the player now let's do dot player object we got his player game object 
and we get the get component for the player data dot score dot value which is plus equal 100 and this should increase the score value by 100 every time you hit someone let's give the canvas the key which is the tab now now let's start and as we can see we have cubad and the other person who is yusuf let's try to hit the other player with the bullet his health decreased twice so his score should be 200 let's for example hit him more so i am cubad i am getting more score let's try to hit from the other side let's check and yeah here we go awesome 